Okay, this is part two where I'm putting some PVA on two sheets of 3 16 inch birch one side plywood. I have two on this Barth model membrane press. I have two orifice holes where the vacuum comes in. So I'll put a stick splitting the hole on either side and this allows the vacuum to reach whatever you're uh, going to press. Without that, I find that the vacuum, uh, the rubber membrane up here, the vacuum will suck that membrane down and you will have quite a bit less vacuum. Center that up a little bit better. I take the corners on opposite ends to keep everything aligned. Sometimes you get some movement here. a 30 or 40 gallon air tank under this press and usually that after I've done a few pieces I keep that at the 0.95 uh, almost one bar or one atmosphere of negative pressure so you'll see when I go from the tank to the vacuum table bed here Quick. There we go. That's got 0.87. I've set this up. It's got an IFM control right down here with the red digital readout. There's two little buttons on there that you can use to set the point at which the compressed the vacuum pump shuts off versus the point when it goes down and loses a little vacuum. Uh, where the pump turns back on. So there's a max and a cutoff point for the vacuum. There's 0.96. Now this is a wet pump. There's several different versions of this available. The dry pumps don't have quite the maximum vacuum that you'll experience with some of the other machines. Usually it takes less time to get a maximum vacuum. I've got apparently a little air leak here somewhere that's keeping me from getting the 0.97 one atmosphere total vacuum. Now I've done some other testing in smaller areas. This is 24 by 31, smaller areas that uh, 12 inches square with two sheets and uh, some other PVA. This is a uh, Hinkle brand that I'm using here. I think Hinkle owns Loctite or something. Hinkle being a European uh, uh, manufacturer. Hinkle doesn't have some colored uh, PV uh, or PUR, PU dispersion adhesive. So I go with Uart 
which is in the Car located in the Carolinas here in the United States. So part three will be when I pull this laminated piece out of there. It'll be three eighths of an inch thick and we'll see how it runs. Uh, if it's anything like the previous test I did, it's within, I know it's ridiculous, but it's within a thousandth of an inch plus or minus being three eighths of an inch, which is five thousandths wouldn't be bad, but uh, there we go. Five thousandths uh, variation in thickness along each side uh, wouldn't be bad, but I was very surprised uh, on the first test how nicely it came out. Ah, here's the first test I did. It's true. Being cross-grained, that gives you uh, better stability. So this amounts to the face sides of birch plus another wood on the inside. So it's a 3 8 inch total thickness and uh, basically a two-ply. So uh, thanks for watching.